been 14 humanitarian trips to Puerto Rico. And it's crazy because I grew up here, but I never did internal tourism. So I did all of that discovering through humanitarian work. This is gorgeous. My island. I put out a video on Facebook. Rihanna retweeted it. And then after that, CNN had contacted me and Lex saw one of those interviews and he hit me up right away and he was like, how can I help? ¿Cuántos son aquí? Aquí están mi mamá, mi papá, mis dos hijos, mi yerna, mi tía. And they are all inside because they don't have tents. I have mine clipped. Here we go. This is the Puerto Rican way. We always find a way. <laughs> yeah. It's finally going to get some rest and she wants to sleep for days because it's constant <laughs> shaking every time. So now she feels secure that the building is not going to fall on her. It's trial and error. We are not trained in this. We're learning a lot, but at the end of the day, you got to be hands on in order to help this. Now we're gonna head out to Mayagüez to buy some more supplies. You need to buy storage for this medical camp that has a load of supplies, all kinds of things that a doctor would need. At this point, to make it more efficient for you. We need volunteers. Can we volunteer for a little while? Sure. And organize some stuff? Sure, sure, Let's sure. Let's do it. Mask, gloss, everything in one place. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Yes. I appreciate everything. I seen how people had to flee, and they left their pets behind. So I started by dog food. First the dogs, and then cats, pigs, horses. This time I've seen a lot of strays in the street. For instance, I found Bumpy. I saw him and I fed him, gave him water, and then we hear this car just hit him and we were like, oh my gosh, what's going on? So I went up to him and I noticed that he's blind and that's why he was so disoriented from the constant earthquakes. And he's the sweetest, the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest dog. It's a heavy toe. It's a weird feeling, but it's definitely important to be here at this moment. I feel that, like I could help. Some of them can't get away. Some of them don't have the means to move away. So if we can make their experience just a little bit better, that's us just doing our part. But at the end of the day, we're gonna walk away, we go about our lives again, and these people are still gonna be here wondering what's gonna happen until all of this passes. <laughs>